So even though everything was installed properly, um, and when you install the uh, this ball and what do you call it, into the receiver, there's a little bit of play. When you go over bumpy roads, it's very annoying to hear that sound. And I see some people put like a shims in here or there's like a little plate and a U-bolt. Well, I have a better solution for this. And let me show you the product. So this is the product I purchased from Amazon and it looks solid. It feels heavy, looks like well-built, nice uh, uh, welding spots right here. And this is a very simple product, but it works so well to stop the rattling on your receiver hitch on the receiver end. So let me show you how I install this. First thing you need to do, you need to put this plate into the hole right here, like, like so like this and this part is going to slide onto the onto the hitch this is how it's installed this part right here it slides into this bracket and then it goes onto the this unit right here like this this is a very solid design very very solid and then there's this bolt that we screw in there. So it's gonna be, it's gonna stop this from rattling. And then we can just insert this whole piece into here. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you the final result. Now put your pin. Let's put this pin. And this is how it works. This screw on the bottom, you just tighten it. Keep going all the way to the end. As you see, you tighten this screw here. Uh, this part right here pushes on the top of this part. And you guys tighten it even more. See, once you tighten this bolt over here, this pressure applied on this part right here. And we don't have a rattle anymore. Look, I'm gonna push with all my strength. Nothing happening. I cannot even hear anything rattling. So it's very nice design, very solid, very good welding parts. Really, uh, and it looks great. If you want to remove, it's very easy. Just on the bottom, this screw, and you can slide this out of your receiver. But the rattle is completely gone. The only problem I'm having is, you see. Um, I installed this uh, ball, the, how do you call it, the uh, hitch ball or whatever on this tongue. Uh, it's pointing downwards like this, right? Which is not the right way. So my trailer to be sitting higher than, than lower. So I had to flip this whole unit up. This is how easy to remove this bracket. And it's gone. So, in my case, I have to install this unit like this because I want my trailer not to be so low, I want it higher. This is how I have my setup. But the thing is, this is the issue that I'm having when my setup is this way. See, when this uh, receiving unit is pointing up like this, I cannot align this hole right here because this piece is not going far enough right here, you see? And I won't be able to put a pin. So you won't have a problem if this if this part right here is pointing downwards because you see here there's more space for it for this piece to slide but in case you're doing this way you know like i have installed um this piece it will be coming into contact with the welding points right here but you can still you can still secure this trailer properly and make sure and it's not going to rattle so let me show you what i did so i pushed this uh part farther now we're going to put our pin on the other side i'm going to slide this pin into place like so right and you see we still have this rattling so we take this part right here push it in and this part 
this bracket right here is pushing against this part right here so it's still good it's, it's fine it's gonna work all i need is my that uh, uh bolt a bolt and start screwing it in and it's gonna work i already tried it So we got to just tighten it. And our hitch receiving unit is not rattling at all. I'm gonna make it even tighter. Okay, solid. See? Nothing. No more rattle sound. The only thing is this part right here kind of pointing downwards, but it's supposed to point upwards and apply pressure on this piece right here. But it's okay. It still does its what it's supposed to do. And you see here this bolt applies pressure upwards. So pretty much this whole bracket is it's kind of like a leverage pretty much. And it stops the rattle i don't have all the technical terms i apologize for that but you get the point so if you need to install this ball facing this way upward so your trailer is sitting a little bit higher this unit will still work you just have to flip around and it's not rattling i think this is much better designed than just a u-bolt in the bracket so i attach my trailer to the receiving unit and not shaking it this part is not vibrating at all and it's going to be much more pleasant drive with your trailer see i'm pulling it up nothing very good design i love it very good thick metal it's just the proper way to install it this thing pointing up and applying pressure here but it still does the job the way it's intended to it's just i mounted this ball uh much higher and this i have much less space on this unit here but it still works well as you see it's secured and it's not rattling i'm ready to go on my trip with my kayaks i'll show you one more time i'm shaking the whole car The only thing is shaking is the kayak and the trailer, but not the hitch. No rattle, it's super quiet. And I paid for this piece, like this whole bracket, maybe like 16 or 17 dollars. And I found it on Amazon. Also at the Harbor Fry, you can find like this U-bolt in the bracket, but you pay like 13 dollars. I think this is much, much better design, much stronger than anything out there so thank you for watching this uh, episode and i will see you in the next one and i hope this was helpful for you if you have a trailer now you know how to secure your trailer from rattling on your car so see you in the next episode thank you for watching